which could make a bird very sick. So in southeastern Peru, along the Tambopata River, macaws and other parrots have adopted an ingenious way of protecting themselves. The river has great banks of exposed clay. At first light, large flocks of mini macaws and other parrots gather on particular areas. They've come to eat the clay itself. It may seem strange, but a meal of clay has two potential benefits. Clay particles are absorbent and can soak up toxins. And there's a mineral supplement to be had too. While feeding, the parrots are vulnerable to attack from birds of prey, so they flock together for safety and keep a lookout. But what makes some licks so spectacular is the fact that they also attract crowds of large macaws. As more and more birds arrive from all the areas of the forest, there's almost a carnival atmosphere as the excitement and numbers build. of a jungle-free party, and the noise levels are deafening. The raucous party crowd is beautiful, but also very fickle. Latecomers try to push in on the trendiest lookout spots. Even if it ends up as a brawl, the social side of the clay lick seems to be very important, and it's the one occasion when the cores of different species get together. There's actually a reason behind all the pandemonium, predator prevention. Just as with the smaller parrots, more pairs of eyes are better than one when it comes to spotting danger. Scouts circle overhead, keeping the lookout. Even as a crowd, they're all nervous of landing on the mud bank where they could be at their most vulnerable to an airborne attack. The macaw flock will only descend when they're all sure that the coast is clear. The mini macaws and parrots get a chance to grab a few more beakfuls before making way for the heavy mob. Suddenly, it's raining macaws. People have had relationships with macaws for hundreds of years. They've always been prized for their sheer magnificence and presence. so social, they love to be involved in everything, even sitting in on piano lessons. company while they have a shower. Macaws need to keep their plumage in pristine condition and love having a bath. Even if that means jumping in the kitchen sink. While supervised, macaws can seem to be very civilised pets. But if left alone for even a few minutes, they can get into all kinds of mischief. They are also very bright. These two have learned to squabble in silence, so as not to attract attention. Ah! Uh -huh. 
This is just a dinner table. Imagine the damage they could do to prize ornaments, or the chaos that might ensue if they got tangled up with a hi-fi system. Naughtiness is one thing, but there is a darker side to the personality of adult macaws. Unlike other domestic pets who befriend the whole family, mature macaws tend to dote on one person, who's then treated like a mate. This again reflects what happens in the wild. Macaws are naturally monogamous animals, which pair for life. They're often very possessive over their mates, whether human or macaw. Good boy. This can lead to domestic strife when other members of the household are taken to be rivals. And an angry macaw can be a very dangerous adversary. The same happens in the wild if an interloper tries to get too close to another bird's mate. Mated pairs are so in tune with each other that at times they mirror each other's behavior, creating an enchanting display of synchrony. need a very secure relationship, as rearing a family is one of the greatest challenges a wild pair ever faces. And finding a home in the first place is usually fraught with difficulty. All macaws nest in cavities in trees. Even in pristine rainforest, these are in very short supply and often have to be guarded 